how to generate buzz. Thanks for catching this podcast. And there are more great ways for you when you ask how to generate buzz. It's the one question I get all the time. I'm Yolanda at Dryer Buzz. And listen, filter the entire internet for the hashtag Ask Dryer Buzz. And please go and check out Ask dryerbuzz.com that's where you're going to find all of our answers 27 answers for the books if you're looking for the books and the downloads and the ebooks and all of that we have moved all of that hassle free and conveniently to Amazon okay you're also going to find links to that at askdryerbuzz.com so right now when we're recording this one we're talking about the big game the Super Bowl it's coming to Atlanta I've been live blogging from Atlanta for umpteen decades. No, I'm just kidding. Just a couple decades. And so I'm, I'm loving watching my city get ready for this game. But I've been around and watched the city get ready for a number of big events. Most notably the Olympics. Uh, also a couple of uh, playoffs and, and different things like that. Now there's some things that we get absolutely wonderfully right. Because we are a southern hospitality city. And then there are some things that, you know, we could do better. Right? So I'm here to help you do better. I want you to stop, 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 stop arguing marketing. Okay. This is the time that, listen, there is no, you're not late to get in the game. If you're like, you're trying to figure out, okay, how can we do this? What can we do? Social media. Let me tell you when it comes to creating and generating buzz for the Super Bowl, it is something you're going to have to do in real time. Because if you have not spent the entire year planning for this moment, uh, you're going to have to do this in real time. It's, it's easy, it's simple. That means watching the conversation, watching the timeline. You'll need a couple of apps. Uh, first of all, decide on the platform. Where is it that you want to generate buzz? Now, I'm watching everybody try to be everywhere and do everything. That has never been my thing. I've never been successful at it, and I don't want to be. I don't want to multitask. So I like to laser be late, more laser-focused. I, like I like to pick a platform, all right? And I might pick a platform and be in real time on that platform. And then I will go back and jump to the other platforms or figure, cause you know, everything doesn't work everywhere. Like right now I'm recording this podcast. I'm not having this conversation live. It's going to be in real time. I'm not going to spend any time editing it, cutting it down, changing it. I'm, I'm going real. I'm giving you my thoughts because Generating buzz and creating buzz is something I can talk about anytime you put a microphone in my face. That's the one thing that I do that I know how to do, right? So what I want you to do when you think about your marketing, when you stop arguing marketing and trust the people, the process, and the platforms, you're going to realize this is something. Just like you're going to sit down. Most people are going to watch the game live, right? You're not going to want to come back and watch it after you hear the results and everybody's talking about it and teams are, or a team is celebrating. And then you're like, let me go watch the Super Bowl. You might watch the highlights, right? You might watch uh, the sizzles and, 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 and some of the controversial things. You might want to see what bad calls the ref made during the game. You know, you might want to want to know well, why the Patriots still dominate in the game and all that kind of stuff. But you're going to watch it in real time. So if you are wanting to generate buzz, you're going to have to watch it in real time with your brand in mind. And you need to either, you need to be ready to, if you're listening to me, you're probably in the DIY, do it yourself, you know, or you might take it to your team or pull your team together. Listen, because we've been talking about team building all year. We've been talking about team building all year. In fact, we created a group for those that are out there pulling together their teams so that we can get to the get to the big game, right? So we can get to the Super Bowl, right? You've been working on trying. Listen, I want to be a household name by Super Bowl. If you follow me, and, and if you found this podcast, it's because you want to be the name in the game. You want to be that name in the game, and that's what I do each and every day is tell you how to do that. Okay, I want you to start your plan, and I want you to start a real time plan. You're gonna start watching the trends, right? Just start watching the trending topics. Um, it not overwhelming. Pick one platform. What's the trends? Okay. What and you're gonna listen? You're gonna pick the platform. You're gonna two things. One or two things. You're either gonna pick the platform where your 
current customers are, or you're going to pick a platform where you like to build a customer base because now you have an icebreaker. Now it's not a cold call. Now you have a conversation that you can get in with people that you want to become your customer. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop your current customers, give them something, let them know, hey, come on to the Super Bowl party. We have a virtual Super Bowl party online if you want to do that. But if you're looking to get some new customers, because your current customers, they're just not down with the social media. They're not referring. They're not liking. They're not sharing. You, you got to get it beyond your, that base and in the face of some new strangers. Super Bowl is that icebreaker. So pick a platform, whether it's LinkedIn, if it's going to be YouTube, if it's going to be uh, Facebook, if it's going to be Twitter, Snapchat, WhatsApp. There's top, there's eight of them out there. There's top eight. Number one is YouTube. Number two is Facebook. I don't care who says people are on there. Listen, a, U, a YouTube link and a Facebook link you can share on any platform out there and guarantee it is guarantee that people will have an account on those two platforms. You share a YouTube link anywhere on the top eight, people are going to click it and we'll go watch it, right? Well, they may not go and watch it from Facebook. Because Facebook is that prison, okay? If you share a Facebook link on any platform, it is guaranteed that that user on any other platform will have access, will have a Facebook account. They may not have access. If they don't have a Facebook account, they're not going to click it because they won't have access. Mark Zuckerberg runs that prison. You got to have an account to see some stuff on Facebook. But if you share either, either of those two links on Twitter, that Twitter user is more than likely going to have a YouTube account is more than likely going to have a Facebook account. You share a link on LinkedIn, it is guaranteed that that user, up to about 85% of them, if not more, will have act accounts on those two platforms, right? So you want to pick a platform uh, and guarantee, I can say you're probably going to pick Facebook or Twitter. Those are the top two that we know everybody's on. Everybody, do, everybody can access YouTube. Everybody doesn't have a YouTube channel. Okay, some are, are content providers, some are viewers, right? So you might not want you YouTube and eh, it's it's still kind of iffy. As far as the Super Bowl, everybody's gonna let me tell you, let me tell you how let, listen, let me tell you what how YouTube is gonna play into the Super Bowl game, okay? What's gonna happen is things that are gonna go on in real time with the game is gonna go over a lot of people's heads, some bad calls over a person's head. Um, uh, um, a commercial. Oh, wait, they, they get a kick. They got a kick out of this commercial, but everybody's talking about that commercial. So what are they going to do? They're going to run to YouTube and other platforms looking for those commercials, right? Whatever their favorite platform is. And mostly everybody's going to run to YouTube because those content providers, those commercials, those brands, they're going to be loading. They got, they've already got those commercials probably scheduled at the same time. And this is, this is the brilliancy of using social media for business. At the, they already know what time the commercial is going to drop because you don't pay a million dollars, a trillion dollars for a commercial and don't know what time it's going to run. They know they got to stop that game because Super Bowl is all about the branding. It's all about branding. It's all about marketing. They know that somebody's got to call a timeout or they got to cut and get that commercial on because they have your million dollars or they have their million dollars. So that company already knows, okay, our commercial is supposed to run between this block. So let's go ahead and schedule it so that it hits YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, because the majority of the people, if they don't catch it on TV and they see it's a trend and it's a hashtag and everybody's going to go like, they're going to miss half the game trying to follow this stuff, right? Those who follow the commercials, because those are the things that people are going to talk about all, all throughout. People are going to talk about the national anthem which is going to be sung by Gladys Knight. This might be the first Super Bowl that people are just dumbfounded about the halftime uh, because uh, NFL has had a very hard time trying to put together a halftime, and I think it's got, ooh, the name just fell off my tongue. You know who it's got, those guys, <laughs> Big Boy, and I think Travis Scott. And so everybody's going to be, it's, it, even though the Kardashians are going to make sure you look at the screen to see some Travis Scott, you know, they might even throw a Kardashian up there to get more people on there because this has been the worst promoted halftime. Eh, can I say worst promoted? Um, well, one, people were kind of excited because if it's in Atlanta, they thought they were going to have some real good Atlanta acts on there, but they, they're off on other stages. So 
I'm going to get ready to jump off here because we're getting right towards that 10 minutes. And I love to be off in 10 minutes. But you got to think about in real time. This is the chance that you're going to have real time. If you have really steered, if you've already scheduled some stuff to go, that's, that's fine if that's your standard stuff. But in order to catch what's going to trend, and we don't know yet what's going to trend, people are going to try to predict. They're going to say, oh, the, the, such and such is going to drop the most bangingest uh, commercial and, and things like that. You want to have somebody, if not yourself, out there on real time, even if you just simply drop the hashtag. Even if you, One of the things that we do, and I've talked about this in the one before, we drop a poll, buzz it or bash it. We, we, we're going to be buzzing and bash it. On everything, I swear to you, buzz it. I'm gonna buzz it, bash it. I'm gonna drop. I'm dropping polls on Facebook. I'm dropping polls on Twitter. I'm dropping hashtags. Even if you don't have anything, those trending hashtags, you want to just drop those hashtags because that's gonna bring traffic to you. But listen, you don't want to generate buzz. You don't want to bring traffic to you if you don't have the content to support it. If you don't have the content to support it because that's going to be, you're going to miss the opportunity and you don't want to do that. All right. So listen, keep listening. We're going to keep talking this thing through until the big game. And then of course you can follow us at the, um, for the big game, ask dryer buzz, um, to get all your tips on how to generate Super Bowl buzz. And then of course, Hey, listen, just follow us. Cause we are Atlanta's original digital established in 2002. We've been creating and generating buzz and this is no better time like Atlanta hosting the Super Bowl and I'll be in the midst uh, of all of this on social media that is all right all right guys thank you so much for listening go to askdryerbuzz.com